on, Chris. It's time to get to the emergency department. Apparently, there's a new case. Over an accident and emergency, five-year-old Dominic is playing with his brothers, Daniel and Davian. You don't look ill, Dominic. What's up? There's something stuck in my ear. You've got something stuck in your ear. What happened? Let's look at the concrete evidence. Dominic was 100% without a doubt at school. Indeed, is that all you have? Well, that's it, Chris, but I do have some strong leads. Go on. One lad told me he was fiddling with a wobbly tooth when it pinged out straight into Dominic's ear. Right. Another girl saw ants trampolining in the playground, and one ant flipped right in. Unlikely. And the head teacher spotted a tiger flicking marbles straight at Dominic. Xander, are you making this up? Well, yes. But no buts. No one knows what happened. Not even Dominic. But whatever it was, it most certainly gave him a reason to go, ouch! The doctor's going to pick it out. Dominic! Here he is. Dr Ashley Timings Thompson. When did you put something in your ear? Well, there was a tiger. Go and start that again. Should we have a look? I think Daniel's beaten you to it. And then you can see in. And Davian too. I can see a pencil. Wow, I'd never have thought of that. I think you're right, and it might be a tip of a pencil. Worst case scenario, this could cause damage to his eardrum. So we need to get it out, really. Go back in a sec, Ryan. Be quick, Dr Ashley. There are three budding doctors here, and they're after your job. Your temperature is 38.3. Your eyes are not very good. You need to put some cream in your eyes. Quick, Doc. Poor Mum. Just in the nick of time. Should we try and get it out? Dr Ashley is going to use a probe to try and hook it out. Are you ready? The bit of pencil was actually a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. You're being very good. So it's difficult for me to get behind it to hook it out. OK, so what's plan B? I'm going to use some forceps. Forceps it is. They're like a big pair of tweezers to try and grab it out. Couldn't quite grip it. It's a bit too far in the ear. Almost had it. Uh-oh. Is there anything else left to try? Find out later if Dr Ashley can finally draw a line under this pesky pencil ear problem. Remember Dominic with the pencil in his ear? I do, Chris, I do. I remember it very well. Well, let's find out how he's getting along. Good, 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 good plan, good plan, good plan. Earlier, Dominic arrived in the emergency department with... There's something stuck in my ear. And no one really knew what was stuck in there. It could have been a flying wobbly tooth, a trampolining ant, or a tiger's marble. Sand, the doctor said it was lead from a pencil. Ouch! Dr Ashley tried to use a probe, then some forceps to remove it. Almost had it. And neither worked. So now it's third time lucky. We hope. Dr Ashley is going to squirt warm water into Dominic's ear using a syringe to try and flush the pencil out. Now, I need you to stay very still for me. And that dislodged it a bit. So then I was able to go in and hook it out with the probe. Oh, we got it. There we go. Success. There was a pencil. The award for perseverance and bright ideas goes to Dr Ashley Timings Thompson. We've managed to get the object out of his ear so he can go home. Any lessons learned, Dominic? I've learned never to get something in my ear. Good plan. Never get something in your ear ever again. See you later, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.